Hello everyone, welcome to Lighthouse Stamping with Lorraine. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Vancouver, Washington. Thank you for joining me today. Before we get started, the housekeeping notes, all the product I use and all the dimensions will be listed below. There's a link to my online store if you'd like to purchase any of these products. There is my email address if you have any questions. There's a link to our Facebook group. We'd love to have you join that. And finally, remember to like, share, and subscribe on YouTube and help me grow in YouTube world. Also, today is June 30th, so today is the last day to take advantage of the Designer Series paper at 15% off, and it's also the last day to join my team as a Stamping Up demonstrator. Um, you can join today for $99 and get $155 worth of product. So if you have any questions about either of these, contact me as soon as possible, um, both end at midnight mountain time. So... Let me show you what we're doing today. We're going to be playing with Playing in the Rain. I love this set. Let me show you the card we're making. We're making a sweet little card. Rainy days are better with you. I just thought it was a nice card. Very simple. And if you hear scratching, unfortunately, that is my kittens. They're upset. We'll see if they stop. So... We'll get our stamping done. So we need our envelope. We have a piece of, I didn't put the sizes on any of the paper today. They will be in the description below. Um, this is a piece of white, which is two by two. I'm gonna let her in just one moment. Come on, come on Shasta, be a good girl. This is Shasta who's fighting today. She wants in. We'll see how good a girl she can be. Sorry about that. And this is a piece of white that is three and a half by three and a half. We have our base, which is four by five and a quarter. We have a piece of balmy blue. I did put a few of them. This is four by five and a quarter. And I have ran this through the raindrop embossing folder and then we have our base which is eight and a half by five and a half scored at quarter quarter out of balmy blue so let's get our stamping done really quick I'll move him out of the way and I'm going to do the black ones first so it has a chance to dry for just a moment so the bunny's going on this one, the three, because we're gonna die, we're gonna die cut him, but not with the bunny dies. We're not using the dies out of this set stamp set today. So let's stamp him right like that. Nice firm. Then what else needs to be black? To look I don't remember oh then we have the umbrella which we're gonna put one umbrella actually we're gonna hold off on that umbrella we're gonna put one umbrella here in this and the reason we're gonna hold off on that umbrella for a moment is I want to put the verse on the inside first this is balmy blue I almost did this backwards. This is a vertical card, not a horizontal card. And then we'll come in with our memento and our umbrella. Just like that. And then on the two inch piece, we are going to stamp, oh, happy day. In the center and balmy blue. Oh my gosh. Do you guys just see what I did? I just ran my thumb right through my ink pad. Be very careful that you don't do it. I mean, it's still okay. I can work around that, but you need to be very careful when you're taking and closing that you don't do that. I've done that on a couple others. 
and I know better. So bear with me while I get some of this ink out from underneath my fingernail so I don't transfer it to anything else. Hey, like I said, come watch my videos. I make mistakes, you get to see them because I don't take them out. So we'll set him aside for a minute and we're gonna do some coloring. We've got a piece of scrap paper here. And I got some paints. So we're gonna do some quick coloring. We'll do the umbrellas first. This is Light Melon Mambo. And I'm just gonna, I grabbed the bullet. I wanted the other one, but that's okay. Doing the light. And I'm just doing a little bit at the top and a little bit of the dark at the bottom. So that takes care of our envelope. Like this is why you put a piece of paper in there. And then we'll do this one. I'm doing him a mambo as well. And then some dark to the top again. And then just adding a couple little highlights. Just like that. That's the inside of our card. And then we have our bunny. So we're gonna start with light smoky slate. And this is not a fancy coloring job. I'm just coloring the bunny. I didn't want a white bunny, but I wanted him colored. So gray works. I could move this in a little bit so you could see me coloring a little better. I know sometimes I do the coloring ahead of time, but I didn't today. And a little on his hands and his feet. I now know where Shasta is. She's climbed up in my window, in my rack. I have a metal, you know, like a baking, you know, for cooking, um, like lasagna in a metal, flimsy metal pan. She likes to climb up in my metal paint pan because I use her for painting and spraying stuff. She's climbed up there and is laying in it. So now I'm just going to take the dark and just add a little bit of definition, not much, around his ears, and a little bit on his feet. Like I said, I'm keeping him simple. His nose is going to be light bubble bath. His jacket, of course, is going to be light Mella Mama with a little bit of dark highlight. To match the umbrellas, of course. And a little bit of dark, a little highlighting here. Where he's shadow a little bit by his body. Yes. Like I said, I'm not getting real fancy with him. And finally, we need some balmy blue. I'm going to start with my light. Because he's dancing in a mud puddle. bit of dark. He's 
just put a little bit right there. And that should be all the coloring on him. Now, I waited till I got him colored before I added my raindrops. Now, you could mask him. You make a mask for him so you make sure. Or you just need to be very careful putting, move this out, back out, putting his raindrops on. And I'm just going to be very careful. And I'm mad at myself. You know that, right? And if you go in here and you tuck this right on side of his, you can put some raindrops in like that. And I can put a few raindrops there. And I can get a little clump of raindrops. Let me grab something. Sorry, you're seeing my notes. I take and write notes everywhere. Put a little clump up there. Um, just one moment. Shasta, get out of there. Come on, get out of there. Come be on TV if you want to be in mischief. Come here. So we're going to go ahead and cut these. I'm just going to move all this ink out of the way. And what I'm going to use to cut these out is, these are the stylish shaped dies. I'm using the largest one. And then the one, two, three, fourth one in to cut the oh happy day out. Get a little cranky out here. just fits in the circle. You are cutting off maybe just a tiny bit. The first one he did, and it was virtually, it's like hidden in there. It's the, the uh, water down here. Get him in there where you want him. And I'm putting some insurance that it doesn't slide on me. Excuse me. And, yep, there he is. And then we're going to cut out the Oh Happy Day, the next size down. Is back on. Took them off when I was yelling at the cat. They're usually together, which means one is Smokey is probably off sleeping somewhere. Good thing metal pans are cheap at the dollar store or dollar twenty-five store now, I guess. Because she's destroying mine. <laughs> so let's put this card together. First, we're gonna start with the inside. Like I said, this is a pretty easy card. And I decided not to use the dies. The dies are still available. You do need to buy, purchase the dies and the stamps separately, but I know there's a lot of people who just purchase the stamp set. So I thought I'd do something without the dies. Show that you don't need to have both. It is nice having both, but you don't need to. Now I'll put my raindrops on, make sure they're going the right direction. And then I made a mistake. I'm pulling this off for a reason. I forgot something. I forgot to put my ribbon on. 
This is the balmy blue and white varic, uh, what do they call it? Variegated. I probably have enough glue to stick it on here and I want it about inch down roughly. A little longer than I need, but that's okay. It will stick about like that. That's not very straight though. Try that again. Not like that. Then I'll add some more glue. Luckily I remembered before I stuck it down all the way. Just like that. So we've got that. Now we need to take and tie a little Fobo. Just take some ribbon right in here. Hang on, I have a lot of glue on my fingers. And you cannot tie a Fobo with glue on your fingers. <laughs> we don't need a lot, it's just another little piece. I'm basically tying myself a little, little knot right there. That's all I need. You could actually put an actual bowl if you wanted. I may cut that a little shorter, but I don't know yet. And then we need our little guys here, and we're going to put them up on dimensionals. corner. Now this one's going to go in this corner and I think I want to slide. There is an advantage for faux bows. You can move them over if you want. <laughs> and that's what I just did because I want it over a little bit. Like that like that. Actually I sort of like it longer. So I'm going to leave it. You can leave your lengths of your ties anywhere you want. I like larger bows, usually. Okay. And then I thought it needed some bling, but I didn't want to put a lot of bright bling in this. Well, she's not being too bad. These are the classic matte dots. And there is these here. They're white. They have um, very van like a very vanilla, a gray, and a black, which are really nice to work with. Shasta, you're being a nuisance. And then the two smaller ones. We'll put one up here and one about here. And that is our card for today. So I'll put that away in a minute. So thank you for joining me. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to purchase any product. And remember the DSP sale ends today at midnight mountain time. So um, if you wanted that, please visit my online store. And uh, if you have any questions, send me an email and I'll answer you as soon as possible. And with all that being said, have a nice weekend. Goodbye.